Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Cutting it off won't work. Says who? I knew someone who tried it. Just because it didn't work once don't mean it can't work at all. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. You shouldn't. Why? <laughs> they gonna kill me? <sighs> Give me those. You got a light? That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? 
We wait. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You wanna hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't wanna die. <coughs> I thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal and run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. Let's get this over with. Clementine, are you alright? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My god. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! 
Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. You shouldn't scare people like that. Sorry, I just wanted to cheer you up. Isn't this the best? What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? They're just fishing. I know that's not true. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s Sorry! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Okay, how are you? Well, I'm doing just fine, thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. You mind if I come in, Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. No, I guess not. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Well, 
lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. And I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Been here for a year. Is that right? It's dangerous to stay put that long. Surprise you've lasted. You must be pretty tough. I've met a lot of good people. I can tell. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is here. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you. How can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. 
Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us? It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Uncle Pete! Anyone see him? Pete! Oh my god. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, 
He's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at... You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Hmm. 
can't shoot them. Too much noise. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. I've got the big one. Hey, kid. Look, it's not like I don't know you have guts, but are you crazy? Maybe I am. Just stick with the plan, okay? Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> Damn. Now... Don't do that again. Okay.
Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? Why did you shoot? He pointed a gun at me. Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Well, why don't you go look? I'm going to sit with Beck here for a minute. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. I'll be right behind you.
I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. The man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. Feels pretty good. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Ooh. Well, Ooh. what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow. And I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You look like an idiot. Just climb the thing. See anything? I 
I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke! Luke! Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us? You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know?
He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will! Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? 
If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I got him killed. What? It was my fault. Oh, darling, don't say that. I know that ain't true. He made a choice. Same as the rest of us. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But... When my son... Well... He took care of him. I'll never forget that. So... Where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid... Well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand, and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. 
Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm-mm-mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. Something's wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him... I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. It's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon.
Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. 
Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, Duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. We're gonna leave in the morning. No, no, you gotta stay. We have to keep moving. Clementine, in this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize, and... All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? It's too dangerous. We can't let her in. 
Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Where's Nick? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, do you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone. Walter, put the knife down. I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. 
Nick shot him. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? It looked like anyone. I, I, I thought I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. It, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Scan the trees with me. much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us!
Are you okay? What the hell? Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Dad! Sarah! Inside. Look at this place. Leave this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. And Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. My dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. We start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> You all right? Fuck you, Bill. Oh, you don't want to do this. Please, let these people go. Just shut up. Oh, oh. 
Everything under control? I'll try. <gasps> Kenny! Don't move! Watch them. You ain't leaving me much choice. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. <laughs> or you can give up now. Your choice. Hi, Elvin. You motherfucker. Elvin! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Can he stop? You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! all night. Is that what you want? Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well those who choose not to accept our love. Surely wish that they had. The storm is on the way.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2, Full Walkthrough. A lot of work, a lot of recording. It was all worth it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you watched my video. Like, subscribe, comment. And see you guys later.